Hi, my name is Matthew and I'm going to show you how to export information out of Edge for use with a mail merge document. The first step is to get the information out of Edge. In this case, I'm going to go to Enrollments, Caregivers, Export Contact Details. If I want the contact details of a specific class, I can select that from a drop down box here. Otherwise, by leaving it blank, I will get the caregivers of all students. In this case, I'm going to grab the caregivers with voting rights only. Having made my selection, I then can generate the file by clicking export. Once the file has been created, the link appears on the page and I can click it to download it. This will save it into my default downloads location. Once the file is saved on my computer, I can then switch across to Microsoft Word and start creating my mail merge document. First thing I want to do is click on mailings at the top and then start mail merge. In this case, we're going to create labels. Now Microsoft has provided a large number of templates. In particular, the ones to be aware of is the Avery A4 and A5. As once selected, you can then select a specific product number and it will match with your Avery labels. In this case, I'm just going to use Microsoft's standards 30 per page label template. The next step is to select recipients. This brings in the data that we downloaded from Edge. So I want to use Use Existing List. I then search to my Downloads location, select the data file and open. As these are labels, I then want to put in an address block. I can select that from the top menu, predefine the format of the name that I want. In this case, we're going to select Josh Randall Jr. And then I can match the fields. So I match the last name to the caregiver surname. The suffix is matched to the caregiver title. The address one then matches to postal address street. Address two is to the postal address suburb. The city and postal code are also matched appropriately, along with the country. This creates my address block for me. Clicking OK then puts it into the first record. To update the rest of the labels, I then simply click Update Labels. Now before I finish this, I am going to reduce the size slightly. This will make sure that all of the labels fit on to the label. Once again, having done that, I then update all labels to replicate that change. I can then select mer Finish and Merge and Edit Individual Documents to see what they look like before I go ahead and print.